This is Peter Barron talking about a National Grid underground cable across the Wirral. Berries is aware of a National Grid proposal to lay high voltage electricity cables across the Wirral Peninsula as part of a £700 million scheme currently being considered. National Grid wishes to transfer large volumes of energy between Ayrshire in western Scotland and Connors Quay on the North East Wales coast, but as a result of environmental constraints in the Dee estuary, the cables must come ashore between Hoylake and Liso on the Wirral Peninsula. The scheme will involve the transfer of energy between Scotland and Wales over a distance of some 275 miles. National Grid intends to lay a number of electricity cables beneath the sea from Ayrshire via the Irish Sea to the Wirral. It's intended that the cables will come ashore at the tip of the Wirral Peninsula between Hoylake and Liso. From this location, National Grid, in association with Scottish Power Transmission, intends laying a number of high voltage cables underground throughout the length of the Wirral in privately owned land over a distance of approximately 25 miles. National Grid has indicated that the works will take something in the order of two years to complete and will commence in 2013. It has however already started planning its works and it's vital that landowners should prepare themselves by taking early professional advice. The impact, um, landowners who are already familiar with excavations on their land for underground cables should be aware that, that a proposal of this voltage and magnitude will in no way resemble anything they have previously experienced. National Grid will wish to secure permanent rights for the cable and will therefore wish to acquire a legal interest in any land affected by the cable route. Berries should be contacted on 01606 49200 or via myself Peter Barron on 07767 827 837 if landowners wish to discuss the matter.